This is Matthew with Go Reboot Tech. Today I'd like to introduce you to this Jetway small fanless computer. This computer contains a Celeron N2930 quad core processor. It runs between 1.83 gigahertz and 2.16 gigahertz. It does have dual Intel NICs, which are a lot better than Realtek NICs. It also has dual HDMI ports that support 1920 by 1200 resolution. This box does have one DIMM, which is the downside, but it supports DDR3, but it only has a maximum of 4 gigs. It comes with a MSATA slot and a wireless slot with a wireless card. It's an 802.11 B, G, and N plus Bluetooth 4.0. The case dimensions are 4.6 inches by 4.3 inches by 1.9 inches. It fits in your hand, and that's what I like about it. It's very small. It's plenty fast for what I use it for. Um, I've done speed comparison, and it's the equivalent of a Intel Pentium dual-core processor of the same gigahertz speed. I also have had a lot of success running this as a firewall for small businesses or home users. It runs Linux as well as all Windows versions. The firewall that I currently have had uh, great success with is the Untangled Firewall as well as a PFSense Firewall running on this box. The box can be found on Amazon. As of today it goes for around $215 and let's get started and I'll start showing you what it comes with and some of the features. So on the front here we have your power button, we have a power light, we have the COM port, here's your USB ports, you have a USB 2.0, you have a USB 3.0, it does come with little covers, which is nice. On the back side here, it comes with your power. It comes with the audio plug there, so you can cover your audio. You have your um, cable lock, and then here's your HDMI 1 port. Here's your HDMI 2 port. And here is your Ethernet 1. Oops, sorry, USB 1. Here's your Ethernet. Here is your other USB and these are both 2.0 and here's your other Ethernet there. They also offer a model that's the exact same specs but it has a single Ethernet port in the back and it saves you about $30 as well as you have your Wi-Fi antenna. This is a fanless computer. This is basically just let the hot air escape but there's no fan inside which I'll show you in a minute. With that comes your two antenna, your bag of screws, and other accessories there. You do have a mounting plate that comes with this as well as a power cord and your AC adapter. Let's go ahead and open this unit. So with this unit you'll need to pick up some additional hardware. Namely, you will need a MSATA card. There's one that I picked up. It's a 64 gig which is great because I'm going to be using this device as a firewall as well as a memory. And that's just a standard 4 gig. Crucial right there. Now let's go ahead and open up the box and let's see what's inside. There are four screws in the bottom. And then we just lift the bottom open. And here's the inside. So here we have our memory slot and here you have your MSATA slot and there is your wireless card there. Now this box is also a fanless design which is nice because it's not going to be sucking in lots of dirt especially if it's in like a closet or a server room. I haven't had any overheating issues with it being in a closet or server room. Granted the room is not like 80 degrees. Let's go ahead and pop in the memory module here. It just simply clips in. And now for the MSATA there's simply just a screw here that we're going to undo. Now this box if you want, does come with a SATA port which will allow you to actually put a SSD or a hard drive in it and they actually will sell you a version which has a bottom panel which is a bit thicker which can contain a hard drive. Here's everything installed in it. There's your battery there. That's a power plug. That would be for your hard drive. Okay, let's put this back together now. And there we go. So our box is basically all put back together. 
and you notice it just fits in the palm of your hand. It's quite a small box, very easy to put anywhere. Um, the bracket is very easy to mount with just grabber screws to the wall, and then you can simply use it as a firewall. You, of course, you can use your WAN and your LAN port there, which I really like this box for. To sum this up, I've had a lot of success with this box. It's great as a workstation if we just have a, a web-based user. It's great as a conference room PC. It does not get overly hot. It does get warm, but not hot. It's a great computer if you want to use it as a firewall. I've had a lot of success using it. It's got plenty of speed with a four-core processor. It also works great because it has the dual Intel NICs on there as the firewall. Is Of course, you can use one as a WAN and one as a LAN there. Um, the audio is your standard audio, nothing special there. Uh, it doesn't use a lot of power and pretty much sums it up. Very happy with the box. This is Matthew at Go Reboot Tech. And if you want to get one of these boxes, I'll have the link down below in the notes. Check it out and try it out for yourself. Thank you so much. And please go ahead and check out more of my videos.